let's see how this algorithm works on a simple example. Uh, this is a formal context on four attributes, A, B, C, D, and it has four objects. Let's compute its canonical basis, L. So initially L is going to be empty, and our algorithm starts with uh, an empty set, A, and then it enumerates all other preclosed sets. Well, A itself is preclosed. Why? The empty set is always preclosed. It's either closed or pseudo closed. If a set is not closed, then what can go wrong for it not to be pseudo closed? It must contain a pseudo closed proper subset. But empty set has no proper subsets. So empty set is always pseudo closed if it is not closed. And in any case, it is always pre closed. So we start with the empty set and we compute its closure, a double prime. In this case, it's um, empty set again. Uh, so next closure returns us the next preclosed set. The next preclosed set in this case is D. Now what's the closure of D? Uh, let's look at the objects that have D. It's this one and this one and they have nothing more in common. So the closure of D is D again. Okay, the next preclosed set is C and it's also closed. Then we have CD. Okay, and now there's only one object that has both C and D. It's the first object and it also has A. So the closure of CD is ACD. And so we add the first implication to our basis. CD implies A. Or I could write CD implies ACD, but it's the same. So CD implies A. That's our first implication. Let's continue. The lactical next set after CD is B, but it is closed. So nothing interesting here. The next set is BD, and uh, it's closed again. BC is also closed. And then we would normally consider BCD. Well, I mean, BCD is the lactical NX set after BC. But this set is no longer preclosed because it's not closed under our current set of implications L. The preclosure of BCD is its closure under L and this includes A. So it's A, BCD. So BCD is not preclosed and next closure would not return it as the next preclosed set. It would ignore it. So we're not going to see it in our algorithm computing the canonical basis. And thus the next set is going to be A. Now the closure of A in this context is AC. We have two objects that have A and they both have C. And this gives us the second implication. A implies C. Let's continue. Then we have um, AD, but AD is not preclosed. The preclosure of AD is ACD, so we're not going to see AD. Um, what else? Then AC, and AC is closed. Then ACD, and it's closed again. And then we'll have AB, but next closure will compute the preclosure of AB. So the closure under L, the closure of AB under L is ABC because of this implication, A implies C. So the next set is the next preclosed set, lactically next preclosed set is ABC. What's the closure of ABC? Well, there's no object that has all attributes from this set, all the three attributes, A, B, and C. And therefore the closure of ABC is the set of all attributes, A, B, C, and D. And this gives us the third implication, A, 
B, C implies D. Okay, and then lactically next set is uh, A, B, C, D, which is equal to M, so the algorithm stops. And this is the basis, the, impl the canonical implication basis of this formal context. If you want, you, you can manually check that all these three sets are indeed pseudo-closed. 